Hello there. So I got a very exciting package today and I wanted to open it up with you guys. So I somehow managed to get the Sony G holiday set, Sunset Cranes Maquille set. I have no idea how I managed to get these uh, considering the website kept on uh, timing out on me and not working, but um, for some reason, I was able to get these in my cart all the way to check out, and um, I'm really grateful for that because these are beautiful brushes. Um, but I know a lot of people weren't able to get these, and um, I do know that there's one more restock. I don't think we have the date yet, but it'll be sometime in January, I believe. Um, but just in case you aren't able to get them, um, I did want to do this unboxing with everyone, so at least... Um, at least we can unbox this together and you can get a good look at the brushes. Um, so that's what we'll be doing. We'll be doing an unboxing. Um, I'll give you my initial impressions of these brushes out of the box. And if I have some time, I might compare these to some of my brushes in my collection, although I don't really think I have anything that's super comparable. Um, so I hope you enjoy this and let's go ahead and get unboxing.
Wow. So these are really beautiful brushes. And I mean, you know, obviously they are. They're Sonia G's brushes, but um, I've never had brushes that had maquillé before. And I've never really understood the um, the hype around maquillé. Um, and now that I'm able to see this in person, and I know this isn't going to translate to the um, video, you're, you're not going to be able to see this the way it is in person, but the way that she has this on her, you know, black to red ombre background, it just makes these cranes pop so much. Like you can tell that they're painted on the surface of this, but it makes them stand out so much. I don't, I don't know how to get this to show, but it's like, you have the golden crane on here and it's gold. It's like painted gold on here. Um, I mean, I don't know the material that's used, but it, it looks like a gold foil. And then the red crane, it's a slightly different red than the uh, the black to red ombre. It's more of a vermilion, actually. It's like almost orange. But at the same time, from a distance, it really looks like it's more a part of the brush. It stands out a bit less and is a little bit more... Um, subtle. But the whole effect is just absolutely gorgeous. And here, let me get one of her um, regular brushes so that we can see the difference. All right, so this is her pencil one. Like you see how much more of the handle is that ombre. This, on the other hand, is really just the uh, fattest area of the handle. So these really do match. They're the same color. Like it's the same, uh, the same red that's underneath all the lacquer, which is beautiful because then these like match really nicely. But they're also obviously a different, they're a different shape, a different style. But I love that the underlying colors are still the same. And also, just as I was unpackaging these, I was feeling how they were on the back of my hands. And of course, they're all incredibly soft, considering that they are uh, squirrel hair. But I was also really surprised the way that they feel like they're going to perform, especially this one. The and This is called the soft pencil. Yeah, let me look this up. because Yeah, so this is called the soft pencil. And the description for this is a pencil brush designed with movement at the top without being floppy. And it's definitely not floppy. And strength to pick up product and apply it effortlessly. Perfect for the lash line or inner corner. And I think in her uh, blog post, she did specifically design this for the inner corner highlight um, so that you can have a very specific area where you're putting your inner corner highlight on your eyes and having a lot of control over that placement, which is really nice. And I know I, I really love small pencil brushes. It's really hard to, or at least for me, I, I haven't ventured out into the very wide world of food. I, I basically have Sonia G and Wayne Goss brushes. Um, but it's very hard for me to find something as detailed as this, especially something that's detailed like this, but also very soft. I find that detailed brushes are usually um, packed quite dense and can be a little bit irritating, um, especially on my lids and my lash line.
and you can see compared to Sonia G's pencil one, this is a lot smaller. This is a lot more precise. And let me see if I can show you these sort of in action side by side. Um, Cause I would say that the pencil one has a little bit more floppiness to it. I don't know if I can show you that really side by side. This has a little bit more wiggle in the brush. I guess not that much. It's still pretty, still pretty stiff. But the, the whole head of the brush, like the whole like part from where it's tapered to where it's not tapered, like this whole part moves. I don't know if you can see that, um, but basically the widest part of the brush up to where it's tapered at the tip, that moves when you are moving this brush. You can press down really lightly and just get the tip to move, but most of the time that whole part is going to move. This on the other hand, I mean, it's just so much smaller. There isn't, I guess it is tapered, kind of hard to see where, um, but it's, it's just a smaller brush. It just doesn't have as much girth as the other one. And now I haven't washed this one, obviously. I just got it out of the bag. Um, but this has a much smaller place where it's touching your skin. And I will say, I think it's also um, more stiff. I can't really figure out why that is. I think it might just be more dense, actually. Or no, I don't think it's more dense. It feels like it's the same denseness as the larger brush. These feel like they have the same denseness, um, even though this is much smaller. Even though this is much smaller, it doesn't have any more floppiness than the big one. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, this is a lovely brush. And there was one thing I wanted to compare with this. Okay, so two things actually. Both of them from Ruffer. So I love my tiny detail brushes. These are the 23 and 34. So this is the really itty bitty um, pencil brush from Ruffer. And then also the, uh, I think it's a liner brush. And I really enjoy both of these. And um, even though I enjoy both of these, I find the 23 to be a little bit, um, bit more pokey than I like. So I've really been looking for a replacement for it for a long time. I probably won't get rid of it, but I would have, I would like something that can do what I use the 23 to do but not be as pokey. And I think this soft pencil might, might be the brush. I'll probably keep the 23 for more uh, creamy things since I'm not going to use the squirrel hair on anything that isn't just straight powder. Um, but I'm looking forward to being able to use this soft pencil along my lash line where before the 23 was a little bit too, uh, a little bit too rough. But it's just so funny how much of a point this goes to, you know? Let's bring this one back again. Like, I don't know if it's because I haven't washed it yet, but it almost looks like it goes to a finer point than the refer 23. But that might change whenever I wash it. So I'm very excited about that one. Oh, 
All right. So this next one is the mini builder. And by the way, none of these have the names written on them. They just have um, the Sony G logo. Um, and the Sony G logo is in gold, actually. I think her her older ones, I guess it is gold, but it's not a shiny gold. Maybe you can see the difference in the light. It's uh, It's not a big difference. But her her older ones, like this brush, the pencil one, it's a gold color, but it's not a metallic gold. It's like if you had a gold color and then you took away the metallicness and then whatever color is left. Whereas this one, I can't, I don't, is it maquillé? I don't know. I don't think it is, but it does like, you can kind of feel it. it's raised up a little bit. You see how it sparkles a little bit? Have a little bit of metallicness going on. And then this one, it's the, it's the same color, but you don't have metallicness. And also, I can feel it raised a little bit. Maybe. Actually, I can't tell. So at a distance, you're not going to be able to tell that they're different. Um, but when you pick them up and use them, you might notice that. And it's really a lovely detail. Um, having that extra sparkle there. I really love that. Um, but on to the brush. So the mini builder. So I've been wanting to get more builder type brushes because my first real builder, or at least the one that I like, is in my new Wayne Goss set, um, which I believe he's calling the first edition, which has confused me because he's like had a number of releases, brush releases before this. Um, but I like that builder quite a lot. I think he calls it the lay down brush. But I'd love to have one in squirrel hair like this. So we'll see. And I do want to compare this to that lay down brush. Because the one thing I worry about with squirrel hair is um, its performance and its ability to pick up and lay down things. Just because it just doesn't pick up as much as a goat hair brush. And it, I don't think that it has quite the strength to lay down things sometimes. So... I want to be able to compare this to Wayne Goss's brush. And let me go ahead and get that out. And yes, all of my brushes are very dirty. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, wow, but this is even smaller. So I remember remarking in my review on the Wayne Goss brush that it was pretty small. And this one is even smaller. I think it comes to almost the same taper. Yeah, so I think um, like this way, they're about the same. I think the Wayne Goss one, I don't know, they're, they're actually about the same that way. About the same height. Maybe the Wayne Goss is a little bit taller. Um, but width-wise, Wayne Goss is a little bit bigger. It's not quite, maybe it's like a third bigger. it's about a third it's like 30 percent bigger but they're still both quite small builder brushes oh man this thing gets sparkles all over me oops um this is still very soft though so i'm not really sure if the squirrel hair i mean it squirrel hair is just softer in its own way it feels very cloud-like so I'll have to see what they're like in terms of performance against one another. Just trying to get that glitter off. All right, so this brush. So this is the Arched Worker, I think. It's called, yes, the Arched Worker. And unfortunately, this was the one brush in here that I wasn't 
sure if I really wanted, which is sad because it's the largest brush. So I imagine that this is the most expensive brush of the bunch. And uh, really the only reason for that is it's a large brush and I have small eyes. But you know, this is a lot like the Wayne Goss brush in his new set. It's really soft, it's really lovely. So they're pretty comparable in size. And by the way, I still haven't washed my Wayne Goss set. So this is still um, not fluffed out. So the Sonia G Arched Worker is a little bit thinner and it feels less fluffy. Wayne Goss one is very soft and feels rather fluffy. And then this one, it just feels more silky. More silky um, and more compact because of that and just less fluffy. But again, I don't know if that will change when I wash it. But I would consider these pretty comparable brushes in terms of shape and size. And I do kind of wonder with this brush what exactly the arched ferrule does. I need to go back and reread Sonia's blog post. Because I know that that is a special thing to do. And I know that probably has something to do with the functionality of this brush. But I don't know exactly what. So it might become more apparent as I start using it. All right, so this one, this is arguably, or I don't know, between this one and the soft pencil, I'm not sure which one I was more excited about. Um, but this is called the Flat Smudger, and I, I love Sonia Smudger brushes. They are some of my favorite brushes of, of all my brushes. And I did not, I, I came too late to the Fude game to get any of her original smudgers, which I believe were made out of squirrel hair. And I have purchased a lot of my brushes on the secondhand market, and I honestly don't think I've ever seen her squirrel hair smudger go up for sale. So I was really, really excited to see this. The only thing that I was a little bit um, hesitant about was it looked like in her pictures that this one wasn't very precise. But looking at it now, it, it still looks pretty precise. Let's compare it. This way. So I mean, it doesn't come to quite as severe a point as the pencil brush. But it's still pretty tapered. So I want to compare this to my other smudger brushes from Sonia. All right, so I have Sonia's Smudger 1 and the Smudger 2, both in goat hair. And I've never been able to really tell the difference between these two, by the way. Um, I know that there, there's supposed to be a difference, but um, aside from the fact that one is dyed blue and one is dyed pink from my usage, um, I've always found using these to be very, very similar to one another. So let's compare these. So the smudger one is the blue one and the smudger two is the pink one. Let's compare these to the flat smudger. Let's see if I can actually keep these in my hand and roll them. No. Nope. 
just do this. All right, so they all seem to come to a pretty tapered point. So hopefully you'll be able to see that here. Because for some reason I thought that the flat smudger was going to be um, a lot less tapered than the other two, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Now, it might function in that way because I don't expect it to be as dense or as firm as the smudger one and two given that it's squirrel hair. But as far as the shape goes, as far as the shape goes, I think this is pretty similar. And I'll have to use this a few times before I can really comment on how different this is in usage. So man, if this could be like those two, but just softer, ooh, I would love that. Yeah, this is really soft. It has a lot more squish to it than these brushes do. These brushes don't quite squish up like that one. They're still very soft. So it'll be really interesting to use the flat smudger and see what it's like compared to smudger one and two. All right, so that was my unboxing and my quick observations on the brushes themselves and a few comparisons that I wanted to go ahead and look at. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope this was entertaining, and if you're someone who really just enjoys unboxings and really wanted to see this, these unboxed, I hope that this scratched that itch. Um, and if you're someone who hasn't been able to get these brushes on the first two releases, um, I really, really hope that you'll be able to get them on the third release. These are beautiful brushes, and it's really understandable that these are selling out. And uh, considering these are the first holiday brush set that I have gotten from Sonia G. I'm really, really happy I was able to get my hands on them. I wish the same luck to you. So if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate you spending your precious time with me, and I hope to see you in the next one. So bye for now.